Hi guys, the second time today, here's my ROM review to the um, ROM that I presented you in the install tutorial in the how-to. Um, it's the Pac-Man ROM version 20, so let's start. Yes, um, I just want to say something about the ROM. The ROM is in version 20 as I said before and it's based on Android 4.2.2 so it's the latest Android version including Google now and the with um, included features features of Android and yes so it's already started let's start so I have to enter my pin You see, it's the Pac-Man ROM, and you've got this bar with all your panels here. So your um, your account you're logged in with, and Wi-Fi, um, battery percentage, settings, brightness, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and so on. And yes, in the lock screen. You have the typ uh, typically um, Android 4.2.2 lock screen with all your widgets and you can add widgets um, by tapping on a blank screen. And you can unlock here and in this little circle down here you can hold and go to Google Now. And yes, you can also go come to Google now when you hold the home but home on screen button here and slide it up. So you see you can just make it like this and then you come to Google now. Yes, the main features are many, many big. There are many features. You can and uh, change many things in the launcher. You have tree budget 1.0 included in here. You can change many things in home screen options, draw, dock, and general options. Then you have the lock screen options, themes, of course, themes and toolbars. So you can create custom tiles um, with uh, any things. Then you have the typical system uh, settings, so you can change hardware keys, uh, so you can here enable custom actions for the hardware keys down here, and you can change things in the um, notification drawer, in the power menu, in the clock widget. Then you have the ROM control here with um, changes in the general user interface, um, the lock screen, the navig navigation bar, so you can change the buttons down here. You can even. Oh, I thought you can turn them off, but that's nothing. You can change the battery clock and signal icons up here in the notification bar and more then you have the hybrid pop, um, properties from paranoid android so you can change your user interface from stock into phablet tablet or bigger tablet um, user interfaces and yes then the normal settings from android 4.2.2 and show the user settings so you can add users and more down here you have all settings performance and another performance so that's performance control so you can uh, make more things here than in the normal performance control so you can set on boot here make VM settings and time and state so you can look which is used here 
and your CPU info. So there are many 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 settings in this ROM which is very great so you can customize your ROM like you want it and there are many many features. Um, yes, the camera is great too so you can show it. No thanks. So you th see here in settings you have 12 megapixel photos which is in no other jelly bean rom only the jelly bean leak rom by doomlord which i presented and yes you can go now on gallery so you see it's very very sharp and everything Yes, that um, was the that were the basic features of this ROM. So if you want me to show anything else of this ROM, post it in the comments or write me a PM on XDA. So I'll make a video if there are some things that um, you want to show me. So bye and up to the next video.